Hey guys, it's Zach here again, and today I have something pretty special for you. Um, I want to give you a demo of a service called Splice. And in case anyone doesn't know what Splice is, it's a lot of different things. Um, you can use it to store your projects in the cloud. So if you don't want to store them on your computer, you can store them um, up in the cloud so they don't take up space and they're backed up. So if your computer ever dies or if you need to get a new one, your projects are safe. Um, you can also use it to do collaboration. So people upload uh, projects for different DAWs like uh, Pro Tools, or not Pro Tools, uh, uh, like uh, Studio One or Ableton. I think Studio One is on there. Pretty sure Ableton is Logic is on there, GarageBand is also on there. Um, and they also have audio, just pure audio stems for audio projects that work in any DAW. And you can collaborate with other people. So you can take their project, you can add stuff to it, and then when you save it out uh, and you put it back on Splice, it um, will kind of post a notification to their account saying, oh, you know, you have um, a, a new project upload and they can take a listen to it and add whatever they want on top and it just keeps going until you guys have a full song, which is really cool. Um, but the service that I'm really interested in is the Sounds subscription, which is $7 a month. Uh, well, really $8 a month because it's $7.99, um, which is not too bad. Uh, you get 100 sample downloads per month uh, because you have 100 credits and each sound is worth one credit. Uh, you have access to presets for different synthesizers like Serum and Massive, most of which we can't use because Serum is not accessible and there's also Silent, which is kind of accessible, but not really. Uh, Massive is sort of, we can use it a little bit. Um, I'm not too interested in that per se. My, my real interest is in the uh, sample library, which we absolutely can use, and it's huge. There's anything you could possibly want and it adds keeps getting added to um essentially every weekday um, monday through friday they add uh usually four to five new packs per per day so by the end of the week you've got like something like 20 25 sometimes even 30 packs um per week which is quite a lot um i don't know how they manage to do it but they do um there are a lot of different sample providers on there, well-known, uh, like Sample Magic, who actually is owned by Splice now. They bought them recently, uh, I think a few years ago. Um, Splice also makes their own sample packs, and they're very, very good. Uh, Splice has a few different sub-labels, like Splice Originals, where they do a lot of live recording, and Splice, uh, Splice Sessions, where they actually go to different parts of the world and record samples from there, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's some other ones, uh, Function Loops, who does like a lot of EDM stuff, pretty well-known label as well. I've, I've seen them before. Um, got a lot of different labels on there. Um, every genre you could possibly want, jazz, pop, rock, dance, uh, hip hop, a lot of hip hop, um, a lot of trap music, very modern stuff, but it, it's, it's quite a variety and they keep adding more. So I figured I would give a little demo today. Uh, I'm not going to make a, a huge beat with it or anything. I'll, I'll make like a little demo and logic as we go along, but just to kind of show you some of the sounds and the variety and how it works. Um, there are some accessibility issues with it. I, I plan at some point to contact them about that. Um, there are a few minor, minor things, nothing too crazy with the sounds part. I really don't know about the um, whole collaboration aspect. I have tried it before and I've gotten it to work, but it's a little finicky. So I won't be demoing that today. Uh, but if people are interested, let me know and I'll figure out um, how that works. And that might help also because if they need to do anything on the accessibility front for that, I can let them know and hopefully uh, they can get that taken care of. Um, the site, I will say, does work better in Chrome for most things, but I'm using it in Safari because there's one big thing, and this is a Chrome issue, although this is also a splice issue that I'll get to in order to actually download samples. Um, but we'll get to there when we get to there. So I'm currently, I'm gonna 
turn around here. I'm currently at my Splice uh, toolbar homepage. Home vertical lock. Yeah, visit. And this is kind of like a hub for tutorial. They have tutorials on here too about production. Those are sometimes pretty useful. They've got um, your new sample releases for today. Uh, they have quite a bit, so we can go. Heading level one. Heading level one. Discover new sounds. Heading level two. What's new today? Heading level three. Link. Noise sample pack. It's all organized two. by heading, which is nice. Although that's not everywhere, and we'll see in a second. Heading level three. Link. Hip hop heat. Heading level three. Link. Melodic tech. This is around the new sample packs right now. Heading level three. Visited. Link. Vocal future pop pack. Heading level three. Better. Link. Medusa. Trap and hip hop melodies. Better than others, but. There you go. So, and then if you go to the next heading at level two. Quick nav on. Heading level two, two items. Discover new sounds wherever you are. Link. Learn more. Link. Get the app. They have an app as well um, for iOS. I believe for Android too. I've tried it. Um, it doesn't work too well at the moment, but that could change. And uh, if so, that'll be really cool because you can download samples to your phone and use them in apps like GarageBand or um, some other like sound editing apps. So if we can get that to work, that'd be awesome. Heading level two, popular this week. So they have some popular this week, kind of what people are downloading. Heading level two, Splice Originals. Heading level two, Tips Plus Tutorials. Here are the tutorials I was telling you about. Link, view all, end of banner, link. Got some. Thumbnail image of blog article, June 22nd, 2020. How to record and process bells. Let's explore the different ways bells can enhance. So that's pretty interesting. Link. Thumbnail image of blog article June 20th, 2020, making the beat at 20 BPM, free stems and MIDI files. That's cool, I guess. There are some, uh, the image descriptions on at this section are not too bad. Um, they tell you what the image is. It's a thumbnail image of an article, which is a good image description. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of your- Heading level two, can, plugins on rent to own. Heading level two, videos to inspire. They have a rent to own plugin system where you can rent popular plugins and then after you've paid for them enough, they are yours, I guess. I haven't really used that. Um, so, but let's go to the sounds section. So at the top of the page, Banner. you have at the very top, I'm gonna go now by link. Home Splice logo, studio. That's your link. homepage, you got studio. That's the collaboration part I was telling you about. Community, link. Or sorry, that's the collaboration part. The studio is where you actually upload your projects. Sounds, visit. But this is what we want, we want sounds. I'll just keep going to show you what's here. Plugins, link. Plugins, that's the rent to own thing I was just talking about. Blog, link. Got blog. Invite friends, link. You can invite your friends if you want. Help, link. Help, so if you need help, there you go. Messages, link. Um, messages, because this is sort of a social network as well, because if you're uploading projects, uh, people can send you messages. View all, link. And then- Heading level two, what's We're new? back to the new sounds thing. Banner. So let's go to the sounds sort of category here. Community sounds, press, visit. Alrighty, so now this is where the fun begins. We have lots and lots and lots of options. Link, plugins. So if I now go by heading. Sounds, visit. This isn't labeled as a heading, but it, it is because it goes to the first sort of section here. Search packs, samples, and presets. So if you know what you're looking for, you can just type stuff in here. Um, I do that sometimes and that helps to find certain things. Link, upgrade. You can upgrade your plan. There are multiple plans you can choose from. 163 credits. That's how many credits I have. Oh, also, uh, a nice thing about Splice that I should have mentioned earlier, the credits roll over. So any credits that you don't use go into the next month, which is awesome. So even if you have the lowest price plan, you can still end up with like 300, 400 credits, which is really cool. End of navigation. Okay. Visited link, black circle browse. Here we go, this is where the fun begins. So that black circle means it's selected. Um, it should just say selected, but it does not right now. Link, charts. We have that charts, so if you wanna see what's popular with the, the kids these days, you can go there, I guess. Link, presets. Yeah, presets, so um, that's where your synth presets are. Link, MIDI. MIDI, they have MIDI files as well you can download. That's pretty cool. I haven't tried that. Um, I don't really use MIDI files all that much, but again, if anyone's interested, let me know. Link, likes. You can like sounds. Um, I don't use this feature a ton, but um, I'll have to explore it some more. Uh, and I'm still fairly new to Splice. Uh, I restarted, I, I canceled my subscription for a while and I just restarted it uh, a few months ago. So I'm still, still kind of getting around it. Link, downloads. This is everything you've downloaded in the past. So if you need to re-download something, you can do that. Link, beat maker. Um, you got a beat maker, which is like a an online sequencer. That doesn't need, seem to be very accessible right now, um, but you know, that can change. Link, collections. Collections, um, Splice makes their own collections of sounds. So they take sounds from different sa sample packs and put them together. 
uh, that's pretty cool because that helps you and other people can upload collections as well um, but that helps you to kind of find stuff that fits and works together image new collection button you make your own collection too link daily picks by splice um these are daily picks so every day they pick new sounds and shove them into this big collection here and of image image link origin sound hip-hop heat okay now the this is where the accessibility gets a little dicey you have um a ton of sort of they're mostly clearly labeled but they're kind of strung together sometimes these are sort of new packs that have been released but they're not really in the correct order link you can help link our pack visited link kind of, over i guess they're featured um so there are three and now this is where the different tabs of the sound subscription are so the overview is a ton of headings for some reason i don't know why they're all at heading level three so it's very difficult to navigate this section um, with any sort of efficiency when using VoiceOver or another screen reader, unless you use the search functionality to, if you know what you're looking for. They have different um, headings here. I won't go into this too much because it's very, it's very cluttered. Um, it used to be that the main sections of this were at level two, so that was really easy to navigate, but they've changed it recently. I don't know why. I'm assuming maybe it was a mistake and they didn't mean to change it, but no one made them aware, so they just kept it like this. Um, I'm gonna email them because it makes browsing this section kind of a pain. Link, instruments. But uh, the rest of this is pretty easy. So the instruments category, if you click on it, it will show you a list of instruments to the right, and then you can click on one, and it will show you uh, samples that have that instrument in them. And uh, I'll show you how all this works in a second, but basically you can say go to guitar and then underneath the guitar you have like acoustic electric uh phrases you can get pretty granular with the filtering which is really cool link cinematic fx um there's a sound effects library in here too which is really awesome so if you need like a car horn or a, like a computer sound or a, uh just like a train or something uh, for a movie or if you just want to put that kind of stuff in your music you can click on this and then you have more categories that you can filter by link genres genres is the exact same thing as instruments so you have like pop edm rock all that kind of stuff visited link labels labels so if you're looking for a specific label you can click on here and then they're all organized to the right in alphabetical order which is awesome link presets presets uh, so same kind of feel as like before link midi MIDI again. Heading level three, two items. Recently. And then that's it. So if you don't click on any of those links, then you get to this section, which is all at level three for some reason. Uh, sometimes this can change, but the usually the first heading is um, the recent releases. So they go sort of in release date. So if you go to the right. Dimmed button. These, I believe, are page buttons. The first one is dimmed because you're at the first page. Button. This one, if you click on it, I assume it will move you to the second page. Heading level three, link. Noise sample pack volume two. So this is the most recent sound pack. If you go to the right, tech house, it shows you what genre it's in. Visited link splice. And that's the label splice button. Um, I don't know what these unlabeled buttons do. Um, I thought they acted as preview buttons, and they might, but when I click on them, nothing happens. So I'm not sure what they're supposed to do. Heading level three link hip hop heat. You've got um hip hop heat here. Hip hop link origin sound button. Heading level three link. Melodic tech. See how you see. Um, those are your sort of recent releases. Then they're sort of broken down into different themed categories that change every once in a while, depending on what day it is and what season it is and if there are any holidays coming up, stuff like that. Um, kind of like the iTunes store. If you think about like the iTunes store, or the app store, it's a very curated selection, which I think is cool because it helps you to find stuff that will work together and fits, which is awesome. So let's go back to the top of the page. Banner. And I'm going to now do a voiceover search for G-E-N uh, to start with genre. Enter G-E-N genres. And it jumps you right to it, which is awesome. So let's click on this. Press. Now we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to explore the sounds. So if I go to the right. Visited. Link. Labels. You still have the same tabs. But link. Then, cinematic. Link. Cinematic. Here we go. Cinematic slash FX. So this is the first genre category. You have cinematic slash effect so you've got link cinematic cinematic category for doing things like trailers or movies link game audio and then game audio for doing game design live sounds now these are all acoustic sort of link rock inspired link indie dance link jazz link blues link heavy metal so link funk heavy metal ooh. 
Link, dub. Got dubs like reggae? Link, reggae. There's reggae after that. Link, folk. You got folk. And house slash techno. Link, then techno. Techno. Link, house. Link, tech house. Link, deep house. So Link, disco. It goes really, really, um. Link, electro. Wide in terms of the genres that you've got. You got pop, you've got, um, hip hop, trap, all that kind of stuff. Let's go with disco just to see what they've got. L -l Link, disco. I'm gonna click on that. Press link. Di okay, then it takes a second to load. Now, we have sounds. Disco. So the first heading here. Heading level one. Disco. This is disco. Now, if I go to the right, it gives you some more sort of options for genres that are related to disco. Related. Link. Pop. Link. Rock. Link. Latin American. Link. Soul. I'm not sure why Latin American is related to disco, but all right. And more. And five. More. Button. And if you click on that, it shows you more. Heading level two. Explore disco sounds. Samples, clickable. Okay, here's the fun part. This is where you filter your sounds. These two tabs at the top um, are samples and presets. By default, the sample tab is selected. If you go to the right presets. and click on that, the presets tab will be selected. Then if I go back to the right again. Relevant, clickable. This is your sort option. How do you want the sounds to be sorted? If I click on this, press a list opens directly to the right. Relevant, clickable. So you've got relevant, which is currently selected. Popular, clickable. Popular, so do you want the most popular sounds to be at the top of the list? Recent, click. Recent, or do you want the most recently added sounds or the newest sounds? Random. Or random, which is just a random selection. I'm going to go with random because if I do that, then I'm not going to get the same thing twice if I do a search, which is good because if there's a huge library, you want variety. You don't just want to be stuck with the same 10 options at the top and then have to scroll down. That's no fun. So let's go and use random. Press random. Cool. Now, if I go to the right again. Visited. The same, oh, nope. It brought me back to the top. So I'm just going to do the heading again. Heading, le heading level two. Explore. There we go. Back where we are. Sample. So presets. it's pretty efficient once you get used to it. Random. Got random now. Loops and one shots. Clickable. Do you want loops? So repeating patterns? Or do you want one shots, which are like drums? Uh, like bass, little bass riffs, uh, like maybe some effects. I'm gonna go with loops. Press image loops. So I'm gonna click on loops. It doesn't say it's clickable, but if you do VO space, it will activate. There's also an image to the left, which I believe if you click on that, it does the same thing. Let's try it. Im image, image, visited. Let and we can confirm because if we go to heading level, heading level two, the explorer tab again, if we go to the right, set pre random. Click loops. Yep. Click. So clicking on the image does the same thing. Perfect. Any DPF. In Chrome, this is a little better, like laid out. It's they're links, so they're more easily identified with voiceover. I have a feeling this may just be a Safari issue, but also I think Splice needs to do some accessibility coding on their end because there's a there are a few things that are kind of annoying. Um, then you've got BPM. So do you want like a slow BPM or a fast BPM? You can specify a range or you can enter an exact BPM. I won't do that today because um, it we don't really need to for disco. It, it reduces the chances of us actually finding results. So I'm going to just leave it at any, but you can mess with that if you wish. It's all accessible, which is great. Key, clickable. You've got key. So what key do you want? You want C, D, E, you know, minor or major, uh, flat or sharp, stuff like that. Instruments, clickable. Instruments. So what instruments do you want? Do you want drums? Do you want guitars? Do you want bass? Um, let's click on this and why don't we do some drums to start with? Press inch drums, clickable. Oh, perfect, right there. Instrument, percussion, bass. Then you got bass, keys, keys clip, strings, strings, guitar, brass, and pads, synth. You can see all that stuff. FX, vocals, drums, 9,600. You got vocals here. So I'm going to click drums here. Press. There we go. Visited. Now, here heading. comes the fun part. If we go to the right. Rap loops. Any deep key. Drums. Now I go to the right. Grooves 4,169. Now these are um, different filters based on tags that have been embedded in the audio. So grooves is kind of like um, full drum beats. So like not just hi-hats, not just kicks, but full on drum beats. Tops 2,700. got tops. So that's stuff that would sit at the high end of a mix. So if you had a kick and snare, you would use these to add some groove. Percussion 1,000. Got some percussion, so congas, all that kind of stuff. Although we didn't explicitly select percussion, so I'm not I'm not sure what this would be referring to. And some of these two are sort of mistagged. Um, you're just gonna get that in a library this big. That's just a given. Uh, you, can't, you can't actually report samples that are not tagged properly. 
Um, I haven't really done that, but you're able to do that, which is good. So if you find something that isn't tagged correctly, you can report it and they'll fix it. Pass 924. New Disco 899. Breaks 531. So if you click on any of these, it will filter by those results. Then you can filter even more if you want. But I'm going to click Grooves. New group drum Grooves. Again, fourth. I, I think this should really say clickable because it's not clear that you can click on them. But if I do VO space... Grooves for it works. Visited. And now if I go back heading, to the heading. section, I also wish it would stop jumping back to the top every time you uh you do this, but Separate rep any key drums clickable. So it tells you drums is selected for the instrument. Reset clickable. And you can reset. This is not the reset for the instrument. This is the reset for that filter that we just applied. Grooves. Which clickable. is grooves right here. That's what it tells you. Then if you go to the right. New Disco 371. Now you have even more filters that you can filter by. Synth Pop 194, Rave 180, Breaks 178, Indie Electronic 1, Indie Rock 100, Percussion. But I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Kicks 87, more, clickable. And you've got more if you want to do even more filters. Page 1. Bowl. Okay, here we go. 4,169 matching samples. So it's telling you there are 4,000 something samples in here, nearly 5,000 matching samples. Press down key to audition, 4,169 matching. Well, not nearly 5,000, but you know, it's like nearly... 4,200 or so. Press down key to audition, down arrow. Now it says press down key to audition. Well, we're gonna do that in a second, but um, this is not the best way if you're using voiceover to navigate this because if you use, you can use the arrow keys to go through the samples. But if you do that, voiceover isn't going to keep focus. So then when you wanna download something, you have to find it with the voiceover cursor and it's a pain. I do like actually pressing the down arrow and up arrow to audition samples. It's much easier than doing the method that I'm about to show you, but because it doesn't um, track focus properly, um, I think they could probably fix that, but right now it just does not. Um, it's kind of not worth it for us because we can't then easily find the same sample to download it, especially if you're going down really far. Um, but it's not too bad if you have to use the voiceover cursor to do it. Search these results. Search text field. So you can Blank. search within your results if you want. Pack. Clickable. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part. So you have pack. Time. Clickable. Time. File name. File name. These are just sorting options. These will overwrite the random sort that we have at the, at the top here. If you want to sort by file name or key, you know, key or BPM. BPM, so from low to high, I believe you can also reverse that. You can. F H underscore D R F. Okay, here we go. So, this is something I really like about Splice. You have check boxes for each sample. So what you just heard a little, a uh, little snippet of here. This is a file name. I'll show. You, I'll play you the whole thing. B F H underscore D R M one hundred twenty five underscore jackpot four dot W A V unchecked checkbox. There you go. If you check this box, and then you go and find another sample, and you check the box, and you go and find another one, and you check it. You can download all of those in bulk at once, which is really cool for building a song idea super, super, super quickly. But I'm going to go to the right. FH underscore DRM1. It just shows you the same sample again. Link. French house. That's the pack it's from. Zero. Oh, four. That's how, long, that's how long it is. FH underscore DRM. And then this is the same title, but this is what you click to actually play it. Quick nav off. So let's Quick. listen to it. I'm going to hit VO space. F. There you go. So that's the first sample. Now, you have a ton of info about that sample. Image. You have an unlabeled image here. Loop. Which is unfortunate. You have, that's, it's a loop. Drums. It's clickable. drums. House. Clickable. It's, the genre is house. Grooves. Clickable. Disco. 125. Disco. It's at 125 BPM. Image. Now. Image. Button. These images are important. They need, they really need to be labeled, but right now they're not. This is why you can't use Splice in Chrome because these images don't appear in Chrome because they don't have labels. Chrome skips images for screen reader users that don't have any labels attached to them. That's not a good thing because sometimes you will miss info if you use Chrome with voiceover. Um, and in Safari, it doesn't do that unless you tell voiceover to skip images, which I don't do for this reason right here. In Chrome, you can still use that bulk downloading trick because you can just check one sample and download one sample. There's no problem with doing that. But I like doing it this way because it sort of tries and keeps your place when you do this, so you can keep browsing to find more. So the first image, image. is your like button. 
So if you like a sample, you click this image and it will like it for you and it will put it in your likes collection. The next button over, image, which is directly to the right, is the download button. So if you click that, you'll download the sample. And I'm gonna show you that in a second because there's a process for downloading these that I haven't discussed yet. Button. This unlabeled button here, if you click that, it will open a menu with some more options. You can like share the sample on Twitter, I guess, if you want. You can report any issues with the sample. Um, I believe there are some other options there too. That's where you would go to report if it was mistagged or mislabeled. Then, we move on to the next sample. So it's in the same process repeats again and again. So, what is this way that I think is the best to kind of navigate this, aside from using the arrows, which you can totally do if you want to just kind of cruise and see what they've got. But if you actually want to start making music and downloading things as you go along, this is the best way to do it for right now. If you press VO, so that's Control Option, or you can also use the Caps Lock key, but I'm gonna use Control Option, and then the Command key in L, it will move by link. And then if you add the Shift key to that, it will go backwards. The reason you do this is because each pack that a sample is from is a link. Then when you go to the right a few times, you actually get right to the file name for the sample. Here, let me show you. Main run funk, let zero, 21. There you go, right, right there. I can go and play it immediately. So I can just keep doing that. Zip, zero, zero. There you go. And, and. Next one. News, and, and. There you go. Cool, so let's say I like this one. And actually I do, I think it's cool. Let's say I wanna download it. How do I do that? Well, you might be thinking, oh, you just click on the image and then Safari will pop up a download window and you'll be able to save it directly to your computer. I wish it was that simple, but unfortunately it's not. Um, but it's not too complicated. You have a Splice desktop app that you need to install. Once you do that, um, you have to open it. And right now I have mine set so that it won't tur automatically turn on, like launch when you log the into the computer because I like to launch things on my own. It actually works better for accessibility this way, I'm finding out, I think. So I'm gonna keep it like this. So I'm gonna go launch it right now. It's just in my applications folder. Logic finder, finder, splice, application, oh, splice, splice desk. There we go. Actually, I think it may have been already open, but I forgot. It's okay though. So I have Splice open now. Now check this out. I'm gonna go to the right. Got it, button. These are just, um, these are hints that show up uh, when you first launch Splice and I cannot get them to dismiss with voiceover for some reason. Every time I click the button, it will not go away. I'm not sure why. So I'm just gonna ignore them. Link, back, link, forward. Now you see, this is just an HTML, like a web page. It's, that's all it is essentially. Switch to the large app view here. Got it. Yep. End of heading level two, your library. Now these, this is your library of samples. Um, so let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go to the right. Link, projects, link, samples. And these are different tabs. So if you click on this, it will go right to your samples. Link, presets. But it remembers uh, if you quit splice and come back, it will remember where you were. So you don't normally have to touch this. Link, tools, link, Zappy 100. That's my username. Main. Heading level one, samples. All right, here we go. Search all splice sounds, edit text. You can search for sounds directly within this app and download them right here, which is really cool, but it doesn't give you all the browsing features of the website. I wish it did, because then you wouldn't have to go to the website to look for samples. Um, but this is a good for if you're on a pinch and you need something quick and you kind of know what you want, you can just type it in here and there you go. List six items. Instruments, one of six, packs, two of six. These will help to sort your downloads by different um, attributes. Genres, likes, collections, all downloads, six of Then you can see all of them right here. And heading level two, recently added. These are your recently added sounds. Now this is where it gets interesting. Slash 154342085.webp image. That's a very bad image name, um, but if you go to the right. Oliver underscore percussion underscore loop underscore. That's the file name for the first sample. If I press the space bar, it will play it. That's a tambourine. If I do it again, so I'm gonna go to the right again. Oliver. That's the pack it's from. Slash Oliver. I'll do it again with this one. There you go. Oliver slash M. There's a guitar. M. So when you download samples from Splice, you have to have the Splice app open. And when you do that, they'll just automatically appear here. Here, let me show you. Finder, Safari. I'll go back to Splice again. Sof and I'm, image. I'm on the sample here and that I liked. 
now check this out. This is super easy. I'm going to VO, I'm going to do Control, Option, Command, J. What that will do is jump me to the next form control. In this case, that's a button. And that button, as you probably remember, was that unlabeled button that lets you go into a menu to um, report the sample and share it and all that. Button. The download button is directly to the left. So if I do control option left arrow. Image. And then hit control option space. Press image. It downloads the sample. There you go. It was that simple. Then if I go back to the splice app now. One button. I'm going to go to the right. Splice. To the, to the splice app rather. Spl You'll see if I go back up to my recently downloaded with the with the heading shortcut. Heading level two. Recently added. And I go to the right. Slash JNR underscore DRM. There you go. It's right there. I can hit play. I can hit the space bar. Check it out. There you go. It's right there in the Splice app waiting for you. So now you're wondering, okay, how do I get this into a project? So this is my tip for doing it. Um, in other DAWs, you could probably just drag this in like a normal sample, but in Logic, and this is a Logic bug, not a Splice issue at all, it's just a Logic issue. Um, sometimes it won't let you copy um, files you may have seen if i if you saw my channel update there's a bug in logic someone was commenting about it um a few, like a week ago or so um they were talking about um how they weren't able to copy loops in sometimes and that's a long-standing issue it just has to do with whether you'd copied something in the project before and it's not forgetting the contents of the clipboard and it's a bit of a hassle i'm, I'm not sure why it's like that so i do it this way instead I'm going to do control option command space. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a menu. Here, check it out. Actions menu, two items. Now, these are different actions you can perform on the item. You have this in iOS as well when you're doing things like um, deleting messages or if you're in, um, like, I don't know, another application and you need to do an alternate action, you can swipe up and down. This is a similar concept, just on the Mac instead. So if you go down, scroll to show. You can scroll to show it, I guess. So if it's not, if it's out of view, you can make it be in view. Show menu. What I want here is show menu. What that's going to do is to the right, it's going to show a few links that were things you can do to act on the sample. Sometimes this works, and sometimes it doesn't. Splice is very finicky, especially this app. Um, this is something that they need to fix. But in the meantime, this is how you do it. So I'm going to hit return. I found that, I, seen, I think that's a little more reliable than doing control option space here. So I'm going to hit return. Show menu. NR underscore DRM 100. If everything goes well, if I go to the right. New rave. That's the pack name. Link. Copy to clipboard. Perfect. Right here, you have a copy to clipboard link. And if you click on that, it's going to copy the sample to the clipboard. But I like to do this a slightly different way. If I go to the right again. Link. This is an unlabeled link. But what this is, is it's going to show some more options. Press link. You have to go to the right. Copy to clipboard. You have another copy to clipboard uh, thing that doesn't say it's a link, but it is. It's a it's a button you can press. Open and closing folder. You can open the enclosing folder. So Splice will download samples to a folder on your hard drive. And normally I would say just go in there, skip the Splice app entirely. But the problem is that they make it very complicated for you to browse that folder. This is one of the things I don't really like about Splice. It's a very, very badly designed folder structure where it uses the folders of the sample packs that they're taking these sounds from. So you have to sometimes go like 10 folders just to find the sound you want. It's kind of ridiculous. So I don't like that about Splice. Um, I really wish they would just s lose this app and let you download them directly. It would be a lot easier, especially for blind people because their app really isn't the best. But it's you. It's doable. Now, the reason I like to do it this way is because if you use that link, this menu doesn't go away. And I found in the past, I don't know if it's this menu or if it's something else, but it just causes problems when you're trying to download more samples later. But if I use this copy option here, copy to clipboard, copy to clipboard, that menu leaves Slap. immediately. New rave. It's gone. And new. So now you're back to that normal interface. So that sample is copied to the clipboard, but now you're probably wondering, okay, what are you going to do with it? Well, I don't like to put it into logic right away, and here's why. If you're going to be doing any sort of audio file editing, so if you're going to do um, some tempo changes or 
edited in like a destructive way, meaning doing something, say like adding a fade in or a fade out to the actual audio file, you don't want the original sample to be affected because if it's affected, then you have to download it again and that's no fun. So instead, what I like to do is make a folder or what I sometimes do if I'm lazy is just put it on my desktop. But for this demo, I'll make a folder on my desktop for all these samples for this video. So check this out. So far, fine. I'm gonna go to the finder. Fine. I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna make a new folder. Desktop. So I'm gonna just untitled new folder, call it YouTube demo. Selection moved up YouTube. Oh, desktop Win. Cool, I'm gonna open it up. Open, icon view collection. And I'm gonna hit command V and check it out. Paste item. NR underscore DRM 120. There's our sample, it's right there. Then I can just go into Logic now. Safari, Check it out. Logic, go Logic, here. Logic Pro Collection. One I've got it already open. I'm going to just make a new project at the default tempo. Just give it a second. Create and empty details. Expect. Uh, choose. Yeah, that I'll just use the choose button here instead. No. There we go. Software instrument. I'm going to make an audio track. Audio. So tracks contents <laughs> and actually what? this will help answer a question that someone also had on doing um importing importing of audio i'm gonna now hit command shift i List view. it List. opens a standard file open dialog dead horse it's on my um, dead, horse. dead horse gtl it's on my desktop already i have some other files here from a school project that i'm doing dead horse elixir under but i'm gonna go down now i'm gonna hit y youtube demo folder i'm gonna hit um command o uh, and our underscore yes that opened it perfect and that samples right there if i hit return Tracks it's gonna import it in one and i'm gonna go to the beginning and hit play there you go now what? it'll be a miracle if it's synced up i doubt it is metronome on wow it actually what? is perfectly synced up but let's find a sample that isn't so i can show you smart tempo Met i'm gonna just loop this by hitting l loop on beautiful Let's find a sample that isn't synced up. Let's get a baseline now. Splice, Safari. So, so I'm gonna go back to Splice uh, on the website, not the app. Heading level two. let's find a base. So I'm going to reset. reset this filter here. Press, reset. And I'm gonna go level. into the instruments browser, like we were before. Text, rep loops, any DPF key, drums, clickable, press. Click this. Reset. There's a reset button here too. You wanna click this because if you don't, I think that it tries to select like, multiple instruments, which is cool for some things, but in Press. this scenario, I just want to keep it at one. Any you may not have to do this, but I'm not 100% sure. Any deep key, instruments, press. Let's find a bass now. Bass, key, bass, press. There we go. And let's get like an acoustic bass. Or not acoustic bass, like a slap bass or something. Bass, electric 800, new disco, acoustic, rave 100, synth pop 1, synth 2000, electric 837, electric. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got. Heading more. Heading sir. DFB under D, D, D. As you can see, you can get pretty fast with this. And these are good samples. Let's find something a little more funky if we can. DFD. That could work. I want something a little longer though. Is it one what? Yeah, that could work. So I'm gonna download that real quick. Button. Same method that we just used before. Image. Press image. There we go. And I'm gonna now go to the splice app. Logic finder. Splice. Splice. It's still open right here. Heading. L U F. There it is. Same deal. Actions. Show. Show the menu. Show. Copy it. Link. Cop link. Prep. Copy. Copy. Beautiful. Logic. Go finder. back to my finder. YouTube. YouTube demo folder. It's still open. I'm gonna hit paste. And our underscore. Alrighty. Now. Safari. Logic Pro. Lo back into Logic again. Let's go into the tracks no. window. Track. We're gonna make a new one and we're gonna import that audio. List. Okay. List. It remembers the folder you were in. L U N R under L U. There it is. Now Unt this is what? not gonna be synced up at all. It's gonna sound horrible, but we'll fix it. It's getting like progressively more and more out of time. We'll fix it right now. Out, out. I'm gonna hit E. 
Check track. Quick. That's going to open up the track editor. Logic Pro. Um, I'm going to make a more advanced tutorial on this because this is fascinating. This was introduced in Logic 10.4 uh, back in 2018. This is a really cool feature. It's called Smart Tempo. And what Smart Tempo does is it uses, I don't even know, probably AI or some kind of clever algorithm to detect the tempo of any sound, anything. It doesn't even need to be musical. It could be you, I don't know, walking up and down the stairs or something. And it will detect the tempo and then it allows you to stretch and contract the different slices of audio that it makes so that it fits your project tempo. And if this works, even if the tempo speeds up and slows down in the original file, or uh, it's a different like time signature, it can detect that as well. It's really, really, really powerful. And I use this all the time now because it makes combining loops together from different packs a breeze. Let me show you. Track smart tempo. You can have Logic do this automatically as well. I don't have that set up right now just because sometimes I like to use one shot samples. And so I don't want those to be um, detected by smart tempo because I want to just add them in where I want in the project. And I'd like to edit a lot of my drums on the project timeline because I find it a bit easier than doing them in MIDI. Although I'm getting more used to MIDI now, but for doing drum programming like this, but I still like to do it um, on the on the timeline. So we have three radio buttons here. Track. So or sorry, two. We have track one here. Smart tempo. Really? And smart tempo. I'm gonna click that. Smart. Perfect. Now. Smart tempo. There is no tempo info in this right now. But if I interact with this smart tempo group, smart smart tempo group, and then go all the way to the end with control, option, a function, and the right arrow, analyze button. I'm gonna click analyze. Press analyze button. And it's done. Edit. Now there is tempo info. Perfect. Now how do we get that to work? There are a few ways. Uh, you can use this edit menu here. So if I go in here, menu, undo insert. You can undo stuff. Can't apply. Or sorry. Uh, yeah. No, it is in the edit menu. Apply region tempo to project tempo ellipsis. You can apply the region tempo to the project. So if you want the project to slow down to match this loop, you can do that. Apply project tempo to region and downbeat. Apply project tempo to region and downbeat. What this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, so here's the region and we've got, um, let's say it doesn't start directly on the one. Let's say it's like a, a recording of you playing your guitar that you did in your iPhone and you didn't do it to a click or anything. So it's not going to know where you start. Logic is smart enough to detect that, so it will sync it right up for you. This is a loop, so we don't necessarily need to use this method, but it's good for if you have like a guitar recording that you're importing, or if you like recorded something with your phone that's kind of rhythmic, but it, you don't really, it's not synced up at all. Um, this is great because it will help to sync it up properly. This is a loop, so we don't need to do this. I'm going to hit escape out of this menu. Apply project. View. And instead, what I like to do Out. is hide this Tracks. and instead go into the inspector, Inspect. which is right here. You've seen this before because we uh, used the same tool in the live loops demo that I did. In inspector group, nine items, expanded, disclosed region. I'm going to make sure that this region disclosure triangle is expanded, which it is. LU table. And I'm going to go into this table in and I'm going to find the flex and follow pop-up button. Loop. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Flex and follow. Here we go. Off. Pop up. I'm going to hit Control Option Space to go into this menu. Menu check mark off. And I'm going to set it to on. on. But let me show you the options that are in here. What Flex and Follow does is it's able to stretch the audio and contract the audio in time. So if you didn't have Smart Tempo enabled, what Flex and Follow would do is every time you adjust the tempo of your project, the audio would speed up or slow down. It might not be in sync but it would speed up or slow down depending on what you had the tempo set to. But if you had smart tempo data in this file, which we do, the flex time algorithm, which what this what we're using here, knows all about that. So it's able to take all of these individual slices of audio and stretch them around to fit the project tempo. However, because this loop was recorded at a constant tempo, we don't need to use any of those modes, but I'll show you what they do anyway. The first one is just on. All that's going to do is turn flex and follow on. It's not going to adjust the tempo if the file speeds up or slows down. So if you have that guitar recording, like I was talking about earlier, 
if you speed up or slow down in that playing, logic isn't going to compensate for that. So the tempo could still be out of time. This is from what I understand. However, there are modes to deal with that. If we go down. On classical line bars. This is going to look at your playing and say, okay, so he is playing at bar one here. He's playing at bar two here, trying to kind of identify that. So what Flex will do is at every bar, it's going to look at that data and adjust to make sure that it lines up with the bars of the actual metronome. We don't need to do that here again because this is a loop, but it might help sometimes if you want it to be a little more in time than it is. And then we have one more. On Flex line bars and beats. That's the exact same thing as aligned bars, except it's also looking at each beat. So like one, two, three, four, those are beats. So it's looking at those and saying, okay, so at each beat, he's this much off time. So we're gonna just move it just so that it's able to be on time properly, all synced up with the click and everything is perfect. But we don't need to do that again because this is a loop that was recorded to a click most likely. So we don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to pick, pick on. Uh -oh. Okay? Gonna take on, a second. Pop. Perfect. What? Now, if I loop this audio loop on. and I hit play, you're gonna see it's gonna sync up perfectly, hopefully, with the drums. try bars and beats because this is a little bit kind of loose which is cool but i want to see if we can get it even tighter so Met let's give that a try beats here we go what? let's see what this sounds like And for even more tightness, you can also quantize it on top of doing smart tempo. One. So let's say, Trend. just for kicks and giggles here, this, might, not, this might sound horrible. One slash 16 notes. I'm going to apply one slash, a 16th one. note quantize. Let's see if it'll work. Turn it off again. One check mark. Off. But I'll leave off. the aligned bars and beats on. Uh, uh, so now we have a kick, uh, like a drum groove, and we've got a bass. Cool. What? Now I think we need some chords. Finder. Let's go back to splice. Splice. Safari. So here we go. Banner. Or safari rather. <laughs> and let's find some chords. Now I'm gonna show you the key option. More picks up pre red loops. Any BPF key. Click one. Click that. Press. But if you go to the right, flat keys, sharp keys. These are just saying what the different symbols mean. Heading level six, root note. This is the root note you want. DP, button. That's D flat. VoiceOver isn't reading these correctly. Eb, button. GP, ab, BP. All of these are your flat keys. C button. D button. E button. These are just normal keys. I want to do E here. Disco music. Then, oops, heading, give it a second. heading level two. I have to go back into the key again because it, it kicks you out. It, it, crap, reset. I want to tell it I want a minor key. Heading level six, core type. Those are by heading. So you want chord type. Minor. Say minor. Disco. This, this is sort of in a minor key. Set heading. Cool. Heading level. So now. Empty bass. Reset. Let's reset the bass. Electric. Because we don't need. Um, reset. I'm press. Reset this filter too. Set heading. We want chords now. Text. Loops. Any deep. Even. Bass. Clip. Reset. Clip. Press. I'm just reset. Reset it. I want to see what what options they give us. Heading. Seventy eight. So I'm just going to Let's see zero. what we've got. Seven. Seven. <laughs> It's kind of an 80s type deal. That could be good for like a chorus or something. That's that bass line we were just looking at. That's cool, but that's got a ton of stuff already in it. Interesting. 
You have to kind of find something that fits with the chords as well. Next page. That the bass is playing. So you've got also next page options. Here's what I'll do. I'll Teddy. filter a little more. Samples. Put rep. Even. Instrument. Sin 419. Um, these are some more tabs. Some of these duplicate the instruments. I'm not sure why. New disco 108. Guitar 1. New instruments. But I'm going to go to the instruments Press. and I'm going to tell it I Strings. want. Guitar. Brass. Pads. Synth. FX. Vocals. So, Synth 400. X. It's strip keys. Bit keys. Press. Some keys. Yeah, that could probably work. It may not be perfect, but it'll work for this demo. So I'm gonna go back image, and image, 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 press image. that one. There we go. L U F. Cool. Logic Finder Splice. So at this point, you kind of know the drill, I'm sure. Heading L U. Go here. To it, the space bar. Act, show, show that menu. Show me, l l press cop, copy. copy it. Logic finder. Finder. YouTube. Paste it. And our, Perfect. So far, logic. Pro, lo, what? Let's drag it in. Track. List. Oh, uh, list. L U L U N R under L U X X U R Y underscore roads underscore the. Do the same thing with smart tempo. Sh smart. Smart in analog. Because this is faster press than the uh, key of the song. Uh, or the uh, tempo of the song, rather. Inspect it. it L U in L U X X out tip it hyphen hyphen trip flex off on press. I'm on. doing it this way to show you how fast you can get if you are really um if you if you know these features well you can you can get pretty quick after you kind of use it for a bit. One here we go. Now, I'm actually going to do a little a bit of editing because there's a delay tail at the end of this. I'm just going to cut that out. Let me track. get rid of the smart tempo. Track, track three, audio for... So what I'm going to do, I did this in a few, uh, previous video. Nine bars, one, nine. I think I did. I'm going to split that region at bar nine with command T. Split And I'm just going to delete that second half here. There we go, it's gone. Now when I loop it, it'll loop properly. Loop on. There we go. Two. Okay, uh, uh, let's get one more element. Let's get a solo, like a saxophone. Let's get a saxophone. Fine. So I'm gonna Spice. go Safari. Back Saf here, and now Bam. I'm gonna go all the way back, and I'm gonna click the sounds heading. Sounds. Press to go right back to that home page, because I don't Safari. want any sort of genre filter. I'm gonna go by instrument now. Sounds banner. I'm gonna and do instrument with ins. Uh, 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 plugins. Instrument. There we go. Press. And I'm just going to now do a voiceover search with Control Option F again and for sax. X saxophone. And I'm going to hit Control Option Space. Press link. And then I'm going to tell it I want heading E minor. Heading not fast link upgrade. So uh, heading. This is a slightly different variation search of the um, link upgrade new collection search these results of the interface. Press so you have to kind of go back, back, back a little bit. There we go. What tenor alto for saxophone reset genres brass and woodwinds genres. So we'll go to key. Click any key. The key. Press D F A button. F B button. Press it. Sorry, the voiceover is getting high pitched because all the hues are in capital letters. Heading not found. So F button. End of net link. Pre. New image. There we go. Loops in one shot. Any B P F E. Click. And genres. We want. Any B P F E. Press flat minor. Heading head minor. But brow. Perfect. And it remembers your sort setting, so it knows that I want random. It will remember that even if you quit Safari and come back. If you log out of your Splice account, that's where it will lose it. So you have to uh, do it again. But as long as you're still logged in, that's that info is saved. Heading new so FL up button. M, M, L, Z, M. So let's find one. M. Interesting. Z, M, M. So some of these are short. Z, M, M. Let, oh, let me uh, sort by loop. That's probably why. Sets link. New collect apps. Any deep loops and in loops. Loops. There we go. Sound edit search. New search. F F F L. All right. Zip OS. Some of these aren't really tagged properly. PM. Yeah, 
I could work probably. We could use that at the beginning maybe. Button, image. Um, it's not perfect, but it could work. So I'm gonna hit control option space to download that. Press image. And while we're here, let's just find maybe F something a bit longer. Basement, basement. F <laughs> Basement three. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that could work. In it, lip, lip, in it, what image? It's image. A, actually it's a bit lower in the key, but we can just transpose it up really easily. Press yeah, in. So that's no big deal at all. I'll use that one instead. Zero. Got a bit of swing to it too, which will work. Lock finder. So splice. I'm gonna go back to splice and get that sample. Heading slap F. There you go. Axe show show me link press. Logic finder finder you paste it paste item copy alert in finder item oh, replace whoops. stop I forgot to Icon. actually copy it to the uh copy link to the clipboard copy there we go slap so far logic split finder all right Fi this is the joys of doing demos on the internet and our all right cool safari logic pro lo so what same same deal no track what lit oh uh, list fl l you find it fl I believe. Do what? the uh, smart classic in analyze button. Smart time. Press Let's see how it does with this, because this is more of a live feeling recording. So uh, I wonder how it's going to do. Inspector quick tracks. Quick in it, react, take it off. Flip off. What I'll do with this one is I'll do align bars and beats just to make sure it's getting it all properly. And transpose. I'm going to use this transpose slider. Right slider here in plus one. Move it up one semitone. How I'll hit loop, loop on it what? and let's see what happens. It, it, you know, it doesn't totally fit, but it works okay. Talk. If we solo it out. What? I, th I don't think it's actually starting at the right time. Let's try um, starting it at... One bar, four beats, one tip. Beat four. What? Works to you. I'll just what? keep it back at beat one again. One bar one. Two. Yeah. What? Cool. Toggle. So there we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of a uh, processing to the saxophone just to make it stand out in the mix a little more. Out of mix, mix tape. So I'm gonna go in, to in the audio, mixer in, and in, I'll in just audio, add a little bit of input, a little bit of uh, oh, yeah, bit, compression. Ring shifter comp and com compress. Do stick. If you guys want any more stay. details on. Audio the specifics of what I'm doing, let me know. And I'll table. Make Com some videos for you. It, compressor thrash it minus, in, minus 30 point. I'm using that new table that they introduced in 10.5 to what? make the editing Tug of these parameters easier. Minus. Out of five, 20 percent ratio in two point. There you go. Now there's not out so much volume um, fluctuation going on. Out the audio. In and just for the kicks, is. let's add a bit of distortion to this too. Oh, can audio oh, 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 let's just do that. Might sound kind of cool. Oh, one more. Oh. Table in yeah, drive. It's yeah, yeah, six point twelve. Out at forty out tone. Out of level, comp level compensation. Check, check, check. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Out at drive. It has a little yeah, bit of a uh, point thirteen. Eighteen. A bite here. It's thirteen. Out of tone. Makes it a little more vintage as well. There we go. Cool. So we add a little bit of reverb at the end. Out of stereo audio is off. It is off. Over. Audio compressor. Audio reverb. Just a silver space. Space designer. Which is their sort of. Tool by factory. Very very high powered. Reverb here. Fact. Actually, you know what? No. I'll use um. Stereo audio is off. It is off. It is off. Oh, it is off. Space. I'll use this other plugin called Chroma Verb, which is. It uplit. Rips up the bitra and the design. It hit the pit. Hi. Newer plugin. On Chroma Verb. There we go. Audio. Audio. Oh, just the default voice there. Let's see what that sounds like. Instead of having it play all the time, I'll just have it play at the fourth bar. 
There we go, perfect. Let's give that a listen. What? Whoops, I moved the wrong track. What? What? Let's find Out tracks, the correct track. Tracks, track four, audio, track four, top. What? There's the correct track. What? Cool. Four. Perfect. Loop off, toggle channel. Track and I'll turn this mod. other one up again. It, minus, minus 1.0 D. And I'll turn this other one down. Just a little bit, just really quick mixing. Out, 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 there we go. What? Let's listen to it. So that's sort of a little mini loop made with uh, a few splice sounds, kind of three or four. Um, not the best thing in the world by far, um, but this was just more of a demo to show you how the actual service works. Um, if you guys are interested, I could make a, a longer video actually making a full track in Splice uh, or using Splice if you guys would like that. Um, again, too, I will con I'm going to contact the team at some point and ask about uh, a few improvements to accessibility. As you can see, the site is pretty accessible, and we didn't even get into uh, actually browsing sample packs, which works very similarly to how um, what I just showed you. Uh, so we could do that as well in, a, in another video. So stay tuned, um, there is a lot more coming soon. The part two of the um, drum drummer tutorial will be out uh, probably by Saturday or Sunday at the latest, hopefully sooner. I have some time uh, tomorrow and Friday, so hopefully we can get those done very quickly. There's some pretty exciting stuff. And um, I will also do um, at some point soon a part two to my live loops video where we will, um, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, try and make like a proper song. Um, I'm still fairly new to Live Loops. Actually, that would have been a really good showcase for Splice because um, Live Loops and Splice go really well together because they're just, they're all loops, so you can just import them in. Uh, maybe we can do that in part two. I'll incorporate some Splice Loops and some Apple Loops and we'll have a grand old time. Um, I am also gonna do another video talking about uh, all of the stuff that Apple released at WWDC this Monday. Uh, and some of the stuff they did not announce. There's some very exciting things coming in these new software updates. I'm just still waiting on a little more info from um, a few websites, uh, but there's a lot of exciting times ahead. So stay tuned, hang tight, and I will catch you guys very, very soon.